If your business makes no profit, then you can't pay your bills, which is a problem. And big revenue numbers won't help you. So today I'm gonna to show you how much profit I get to keep from my sales on Etsy and you can expect to be able to keep if you sell on Etsy. We'll also be looking at the hidden costs of selling on Etsy and make sure to watch until the end because I will be revealing where the real profit is made, uh, at least for me, because it's not selling individual products. So I'm making this video because I've gotten some more detailed questions about this topic of costs and fees recently. And hopefully this video will uh, answer those questions either directly or indirectly. So for example, we'll definitely be working uh, in different currencies today uh, and show you how that works with my real life examples. So if you go to your shop's manager and payment account, you can see a breakdown of all your fees and sales uh, for each sale. So all of this here, this chunk represents transactions that come along with this one sale that I made. This was a print on demand coffee mug, which costs $3.44 apparently, uh, that I sold on the 4th of June, which I fulfilled using Printify. So I've just grabbed this chunk uh, onto a PowerPoint slide. So the sale starts here with the listing fee and ends with the VAT on the processing fee. Now for this item, the customer paid £13.27, which is around 16.63 USD, which you can see here. And this red column shows the fees taken from that total by Etsy. Now remember the price the customer pays, which they see on the marketplace, okay, is not the price that you set. So the price I set for this product was $20 with a 30% discount, so that's $14 of revenue, but Etsy adds on a bit for sales tax. So the price the customer sees and pays for this product is the price that you set, uh, plus however much the sales tax is in their region. I'll talk more about this later. Back to this sale I made. So first of all, how much profit do you think I actually made on this sale? So remember the customer paid around $16.63. This mug costs uh, around 3.44. Obviously they take a few small fees, but surely I still made a pretty high profit here, right? I actually lost money selling this product. I know. And this is the reality of e-commerce. You have to be on top of your accounting because it's easy to just bleed money if you don't catch these things early. And you do need to consider the hidden variable costs. Now, good news is I don't usually lose money when I sell this product. Uh, that'd be pretty disappointing. Uh, this was actually a, a rare case for me, which I thought would be good for demonstration purposes. So where did the rest of all that money go? And is it even possible to make a profit selling POD on Etsy? Well, trust me, it definitely is. But first, let's break down what went wrong here. Now, as we all know, Etsy takes fees every time you sell something. So our first fee is the listing fee, which is 20 cents. And you pay this when you list an item and every single time that you sell an item as well. I don't actually pay listing fees at the moment because I have a lot of free listings. Uh, basically, every time someone signs up to sell on Etsy using my link below, they get 40 free listings. And so do I. So uh, thank you for doing that if you signed up with my link. Now here's a total the customer paid as we've talked about. So no listing fee for me. Next, we have the payment processing fee. So this fee varies depending on the location of your bank account. You can see a list of all the uh, countries on this page. And in the UK, it's 4% of the total sale price plus 20p. Next, we have the sales tax. Now this is not a fee. So this is not coming out of your pocket. Remember when you set the price, that's not the price that the customer pays. They pay a little bit more because of sales tax. So Etsy calculates this automatically and then displays the total on whatever you see on the marketplace. And then Etsy takes that and then pays it to the government. So again, the amount varies depending on location. Now next we have the Etsy transaction fee. It's 6.5% of the total price that you set and you have to pay this on every sale. Next is the regulatory operating fee. This is a small fee that you pay uh, if you are in certain countries. If your country is on this list here, then you have to pay it and the amount is on the website. Next, we have the off-site ads fee, which is 15% of the total sale. 
Uh, now, this is an interesting one. The, so this fee is not a fee that you pay on all sales. You only pay this when you make a sale from offsite ads, which is uh, actually not that often for me. So whenever you upload a listing, Etsy may promote your listing on different websites, which is called offsite ads. And if somebody clicks through to your listing through those ads, then you pay 15% of the total of that sale, which is a pretty big amount. And the upside is you make an extra sale, which helps boost the listing and the search rank. And then that makes you money also. Uh, but the downside is that it cuts into your profit on that individual sale. So you can opt out if you want in your shop manager. Um, I don't because I do prefer having those extra sales. Now, because I'm in the UK and not VAT registered, I have to pay VAT uh, on all the fees. So that, yes, that's every single fee that we've just gone through um, for each sale. So that's what these are. VAT is uh, 20% and if you're in the UK or Europe, then you will uh, have to pay this as well. If you're in the US, you may not get these. So if you are VAT registered, uh, you still do have to pay VAT, but you just do it all at the end of your company's accounting period instead of per sale on Etsy, which is uh, even more effort because you have to calculate it all, uh, which is why you normally hire an accountant for that. So if you use one of these online Etsy calculators um, that can help you calculate your profit and you sell in Europe, they will not take these into account. So be aware of that. So in summary, these are all the fees for this sale. The total price that I set, as I said, was $20 with 30% discount, which is $14 uh, or around ten. Uh, pound 69 and this product had free shipping Now the amount the customer paid was 13 pounds 27 because etsy adds on tax and these are the total fees along with the vat that i have to pay on each fee and sales tax is two pound 30 here uh, the reason that it's not two pound 58 which um, if you're keen you might have noticed is the exact difference between the amount the customer paid versus the price i set is most most likely just currency conversion rate. So my net income on this sale on Etsy can be calculated as the amount the customer paid minus the total fees and the VAT on those fees minus the sales tax, which equals £7.13. That's my net income for this one sale. So my total fees are £2.38, which is around 22% of the price I set goes to Etsy. Now remember, I didn't pay a listing fee. I have free listings, but if I did, then that would be £2.58. What about the product fulfillment then? What about the costs? So the product itself actually cost 4.55 USD. Now next, shipping to Belgium costs 6.99 US dollars. I had to pay VAT because I was selling to a European country, Belgium, and this fulfillment center is in Poland, which is another European country, so my total cost of fulfillment here was 13.96 US dollars or £10.66, meaning I lost £3.53 on this sale. Now, as I said, I don't usually lose money when I sell this product, so I'll show you what normally happens. This is another sale of the same product, which has the same price, uh, the 11 ounce coffee mug that I sold on the 21st of July. So. The customer only paid £11.61 because there's much less sales tax this time. I'll talk about why later. Even though the price I set was still $14, my net income for this sale was £8.94. My costs for this product were £6.32 this time, which means that I made £2.62 profit. So that's a 24.5% profit margin selling this same uh, revenue price of $14. So this sale was profitable and most of my sales look like this. So why would the profit be different on the same product set at the same price? Well, first of all, the customer location is the main reason. So my main market is in the US. It's much cheaper for me to sell to the US than to Europe because the product is cheaper, the shipping is cheaper, the sales tax for the customer is also cheaper and I don't have to pay VAT on my sales. I still have to pay VAT on the fees, but not the individual sales. Now this supply on Printify, which is called Print Logistic, is the cheapest mug shipper to the European countries on Printify uh, when you factor in shipping costs as well. But the cheapest to the US, uh, the supply is called Taylor and only costs a total of £8.27 or £6.32 for the same product. Now that's a whole $5.69 difference between these two suppliers. 
um, which are both the cheapest for their respective location. Now, obviously, you can go and find your own POD suppliers, which are much cheaper on a site like AliExpress. Uh, but I use Printify suppliers because I trust them and they're reliable, you know, with these cheap drop shipping suppliers, unless you have a relationship with a particular supplier. Uh, you just don't know if they will print your product correctly or even deliver it. And the shipping times tend to be much longer as well. Um, I have tested them and it's caused issues. So in the end, I always come back to these specialized POD platforms like Print4, Printify. They do cost a bit more, uh, but they make life easier. Now, the second reason I lost money uh, is the offsite ads fee and the VAT that comes with it. So I don't usually have this fee. Uh, it's pretty rare that I have sales that come from offsite ads, maybe like one in 20 or 30 sales. So that's an extra two pound I lose from offsite ads. So maybe you can be profitable selling on Etsy, but what is even the point if you only make 25% profit per sale and even risk losing money on some sales? How can you increase your profit and where is the real profit made with POD? Well, firstly, the product that we've been talking about uh, is actually my cheapest product variant that I use to attract customers to the listing. Because if you have a listing with multiple variations, the marketplace only shows the price of your cheapest product in search, right? So most of the time, uh, I actually sell the more expensive variants. And if customers order the more expensive products, obviously I make more profit. Uh, as you can see here, right? But the real profit is made when they order more than one product at once because the shipping cost goes down quite a lot. So this customer, they ordered a different product, but two of them in one order. And because the shipping was lower than it would be for fulfilling two products separately, I got to keep more profit on this order. And I have a lot of listings in my shop which are matching. So like a mom, dad product, a girlfriend, boyfriend pair of matching products. And those kinds of things tend to encourage these multiple purchases. And that's where my more profitable sales are made. So at the end of the day, most of it is just shipping costs. So if you can get your shipping costs low uh, by selling mainly to the US market uh, and also obviously making multiple, um, making these multiple sales in one order, uh, then you'll be able to make more profit with POD. And if all this math is just too much for you, then you can always sell digital products like these. Uh, I absolutely love these, you know, obviously after the fees, you are left with pure profit and no headache, as you can see here, which is just great. Especially when you get sales like this, where I make over $28 on a single digital product sale multiple times. If you wanna see what this product was, check out the video linked uh, in the eye, my previous video where I reveal what this product is. So hopefully this video has given you an extremely thorough rundown uh, of everything that you need to know about Etsy fees, costs, calculating your profit margin and whether you can actually be profitable selling on Etsy. Uh, I took all your questions from the DMs and comments into account when making this video. So thank you for those. As always, feel free to leave questions in the comments below if you still have them after this video and I'll see you in the next one.